Oh gosh, I'm a little worried. Valkyrie swing. Boom! Let's go! In today's video, we have stayed up extremely late, and we're gonna be going through some decks you guys can use in the Sand is Healing Challenge right now in Clash Royale. This is a very cool challenge. I'm a fan of it because it's pretty unique. Obviously, basically, the whole ground, the whole arena, it's gonna be healing constantly, making for some awesome play. And as you can see here, casual play, no losses. You guys can try as many times as you want. You don't even have to worry about it. If you lose once or twice, it's all for fun. You're gonna be able to get the rewards in the end. Assuming you wanna play enough, all you have to do is win five games total, and then you'll get all the rewards rewards guys pretty awesome passive little uh challenge here so we're gonna show you guys some decks i'm gonna be rocking with some decks i would recommend the deck number one here we are showcasing is golem clone you can play this if you want it's toxic this tournament's gonna have some toxic not tournament this uh, challenge is gonna have some toxic decks in it deck number two here we are gonna be featuring is electro giant the inferno dragon the dark prince the bomber the tornado and lightning combo obviously with that electro giant it's so strong it's so good and with the one unit skeletons here it makes it quicker cycle for your electro giant it's gonna help get a bunch of those e giants down and the inferno Inferno Dragon and Dark Prince are pretty much everything you need on defense, making this deck extremely strong, and it'll probably be seen quite often in the tournament. The final deck of the day, the third one. These are the only three we're going to be showcasing is the Elixir Golem, of course, because, hey, with that healer, the Elixir Golem, the Dragons, and the Rage is going to be insane, especially with the Elite Barbarians in there, guys. The Elite Barbarians and that Heal Spirit used to be a pretty strong combo, so with them he being healed, they're going to be able to shut down Electro Giants. We're going to be rolling with this deck to start, the Elixir Golem deck, and we're going to just go with it until we lose. As you can see, it is super early. We literally stayed up all night talking in the Sign Nation Discord server. Shout out to everyone in there. Uh, it's so much fun talking there. We're almost up to 2,000 members, so if you want to positive clash royale community that's also really active and a gr genuinely a great time to talk and definitely head over there the link to that's in the description join up guys sign nation discord we're on the road to 2,000 members i think we're like 80 away or something we're getting real close so shout out to you guys tuning in from there but we got two minutes we'll come right back with you guys when we're queuing up to uh when once we're queuing up for battle number one but yeah it's super early it is 3.58 a.m. We are literally obliterating my sleep schedule for this video. So the dedication is real. I don't think many other creators are waking up or at least staying up this late to record this epic footage of these challenges for you guys to try and get as many of you guys as possible these great decks that it will hopefully crush. But like I said, if the deck's not working for you, just try one of the other two. You have plenty, literally infinite tries at this tournament. So that's going to be awesome for you guys. But nonetheless, let's get uh, going into battle number one here. Let's skip ahead. Boom. Three, two one we're getting after it here it is going in free oh shoot we gotta make a deck all right let's quickly scramble elixir golem boom we need our battle healer up in here where is she is she not available no way okay no she's available all right cool let's get the rage spell is there seriously no rage spell i'm actually gonna be a little triggered here okay no there's there should be every card right you would think that there'd be every card right Give me the double dragons. Give me the double dragons. Please, 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 please. Is there seriously no electro dragon? Okay, there is electro dragon. So we're chilling. Okay, elite barbs bomber, I think. Elite barbs bombers. Is that what we're missing here? Elite barbs. Where you at? Boom. Okay. We got our deck. This should be good. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Let's go in. We're moving in. We got deck number one here. Someone else has quickly built a deck. They know exactly what they want. We know exactly what we want. Sade. Good luck, man. You're going to need it. We're going in at three times elixir cost, apparently. Holy crap. The whole thing's healing. Everything's going to be madness in this match. We're going to go ahead and get ready with an electro dragon. We're getting ready to go. He's got this. The arrows, guys. It's going to be incredible. It is genuinely going to be incredible. The value these arrows are going to see. So, we're going to go ahead and bomber this. We're going to go ahead and elite barbs. We're getting ready to rage absolutely everything. And he's got a wizard. He's got a mother witch. He's got a whole sorts of answers. So this is going to be really intense here. I don't know if we're going to be able to get things done. But the electro dragons in the skies going to be providing lots of value. And as you can see, we are a tower up in this one, boys. We are a tower up. He places a mega knight. That's going to be pretty interesting. We have a bunch of battle healers down, though, healing everything up. The battle healer is going to be great for us. We're going to go ahead and arrows this as well. We need this wizard to die. It is literally getting constantly healed up. So maybe we should throw in a snowball or something. I don't know. We're going to go elixir golem. We're going to go ahead and elite barbs and bomber and rage. Can he get a witch down in time? He does, but is the witch going to spawn skeletons? It is. We're going to go ahead and arrows this right now. The elite barbs are going to take that tower down. The elite barbs are actually going to take that tower down. We have a battle healer to defend. Elite barbs take the tower down. We have two towers to zero right now. And we are crushing. We are absolutely crushing. We're going to split some elite barbs in the back. We're going to play a little bit slow here for a second. Because I'm a little worried, guys. He's building up a lot of stuff over here. We want to make sure we can take this all out. He's going Mega Knight as well. We definitely are going to need an Electro Dragon over here. Uh, sorry, an Inferno Dragon is going to be Poggers. We're going to go ahead and battle healer over here. We need a bomber. We need a bomber. Guys, as long as he doesn't 3-crown us, we have dragons in the skies. We have a bunch of stuff taking us out, though. The dragons are luckily going to get healed up for a little bit. Is it going to be enough here? We're going to go ahead and rage on defense. This is going to be a little bit bad for a second. 
Shoot, he's doing work. He's doing work. He's doing work. All right, this is going to be a lot. This is going to be a lot to handle for sure. We're going to have to spam, though. He's going all out right now. We're going in. We're going in right now. We're going to go in Inferno Dragon. We're going to Rage the Elite Barbs. We're going to have to arrows on defense. This is going to be an enclosed one for game number one. We have to get this off of our King Tower, guys. The Inferno Dragon's on. That's going to be game. That is game. Let's go. Game number one. We crush. The uh, arrow's not going to do the best for you guys. I'm not going to lie. Maybe we, it's three times the elixir. So let's still go ahead and throw in a lightning spell, dude. Let's throw in a lightning, man. Because the arrows, they don't finish anything off except for that firecracker. So I'm thinking lightning or freeze would be definitely better off here. It's 4.0 average elixir cost. It's going to make it heavier, but it's going to make sure you kill those wizards. You kill those mother witches. You want them dead. So that's exactly what we're going to do here today, boys. Let's go ahead and battle healer in the back. They already know what's coming at us. Um, so yeah, we're going to just go in, get ready to go for all of this. We got lightning. He does not. Is it going to make a difference? I think so. I think so, dude, because we're going to be able to absolutely crush that Electro Dragon, are we not? Yeah, dude, we crushed this. We actually crushed this. We actually crushed this, man. Look at the Rage spell doing work right now. We're going to have to get another Electro Dragon down. We're going to bomb her. The Dragons are getting healed up. This is absolutely insane what's happening right now. I can't tell if we're winning or losing. It appears that we are not winning. Let's go ahead and Lightning here. Boom, we crush. We actually crush. The battle healer does go down. We're going to go ahead and go with this and then rage. We're pushing. Oh, we're pushing. He goes dragon over there. He's going to definitely be a little bit low on elixir here, right? Definitely. We have to go battle healer of our own. The elixir golem is going to do some work. Let's go. Let's go bomber. We crush. We actually crush everything. Bats are alive, but no big deal. This is where we push. This is where we push. This is where we push. We rage. Things are going to get a little crazy right now. Holy moly. He's got the Lumberjack in there, making a big difference for him. I'm not going to lie. We need to stack some battle healers up. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is the push. Holy crap, this is stressful, dude. Oh my goodness. We have the Elixir Gome on defense, and I think we win this. I think we might win this, dude. Look at his King Tower. It's much weaker than ours. We come through. These battles, dude, and no guarantee you're going to win them. I'm not going to lie. These are intense. All right, we are in with the Graveyard Freeze deck. You have the Rocket. You have the NATO for infinite value against the Elixir Golem. So we're going to go ahead and Valkyrie in the back. We'll see what this guy's going. Hopefully, he's got Elixir Golem. That'd be poggers. We're going to go ahead and Rocket this bad boy. And then we're going to go ahead and Executioner, dude. The Executioner value should be insane, right? Oh my gosh. It's going to heal up. It's going to heal up. Nice, it's healing. Come on, let's go. We're going to Graveyard now. He just went with a bunch of spells. He's got to be done, though, here, right? He's got to be done. Let's go ahead and Valkyrie. Let's go ahead and freeze anything he places. Nice, we catch a half minion horde. We're going to skip Executioner. We need to take this tower down because towers do heal. Completely forgot about that until now. But yeah, they definitely heal. So that's going to be interesting. We're going to go ahead and NATO all of this in for the Executioner. We crush, dude. We crush. The Dark Prince is going to come out. The Graveyard's going to come out. This is looking like a really solid dominant performance here. And if he goes for like a minion horde or something, we'll be able to freeze this. We'll be able to absolutely fireball that. We probably should have fireballed the minion horde. But hey, we're doing things. We're going to go ahead and Executioner this. Yeah, his tower is going to heal up, but look at that King Tower, man. Doing absolute bits here. The Executioner in the NATO is going to come out. We're going to go ahead and once again, Dark Prince. His tower cannot handle another Dark Prince in Graveyard Freeze push. He's just going to die here. He's just going to die. So we're going to go ahead and freeze nothing, and hopefully that's enough. No, that's not going to be enough, dude. Yikes. Dark Prince is going to charge up. Nearly get a shot off on the tower. The rocket lands, though. That's a beautiful rocket there. Let's go ahead and Graveyard. Let's go ahead and Valkyrie in the pocket. Valkyrie, go to the tower. Let's go, Valkyrie. Let's go. We freeze all the minion horde. That's going to be a lot of damage on this man's tower. We're going to go ahead and NATO this in as well, because why not? We take the other tower. Valkyrie on the king tower here. That's going to be pretty nice for us. We're going to go ahead and executioner this. He's getting a really nice battle round there. He's spamming our pocket like crazy. We're going to have to Valkyrie this just to make sure it all dies. He logs, so the Valkyrie will definitely get some good value there. And now we have a Valkyrie walking up. He lightnings. That's a pretty solid lightning, to be fair. We're going to go ahead and Graveyard. We're going to get ready to freeze right now. He goes for the minion horde. He's going to have to wizard this or something, or else he dies. He dies. That's it. Good game, sir. Thank you very much for playing. But the Dark Prince, the Rocket, the Fireball, that will finish him off. This deck is actually going to crush for you guys. As long as you play it right. If you have some misplays, it could definitely get a little hairy there, as you saw. And we haven't even faced the Elixir Golem yet, and we are still crushing, dude. So I'm very hyped. 
All right, we got this. We have the answers to the splash damage. We need the carry to go down here. We have Graveyard Freeze in our starting hand, so we're going to go ahead and go for a Dark Prince right in the back. We're ready to go. We're going to push up here. He's going with a Heal Spirit, which is pretty interesting since literally everything is getting healed now, sir. We're going to go ahead and rock it. We're going to go ahead and Graveyard. And if he's got this, um, we'll see what he's got, but he's got Mini Pekka here. Let's go ahead and freeze. The freeze spell comes out. The Mini Pekka is going to get clapped. Holy crap, he's got that. He's got that. The tower falls. Those are going to all die, and the Dark Prince is moving up. That is insane value, and that is why this deck is going to be overpowered. We're going to go Dark Prince. We're going to go ahead and Graveyard. We're getting ready to freeze once again. He's got Electro Giant Sparky, dude. This guy has Electro Giant Sparky, guys. What? We're going to just rock it and NATO everything. Everything dies. Let's go, man. The insane value this deck actually offers is awesome to see. We're gonna get we're gonna get ready on defense. Oh gosh, I'm a little worried. Valkyrie swing. Boom! Let's go, dude. The Valkyrie's insane. The Musketeer on the right. We're just gonna let it go. He's got a Sparky down in the back. We're just gonna rocket it. We have Fireball and we have all the answers to this guy's deck and to most people's decks. We're gonna go ahead and graveyard. He genuinely, I don't think he can do anything. He's going with this. We're just going to Fireball. We're just going to NATO. Get it all back in here. Those all die. We can go for the Freeze spell now. We catch the Electro Spirit. That's GG's, man. That's got to be game, right? The Rocket's down. This is awesome. This deck is so much fun to play. Um, as long as you're getting good matchups, you're going to get some wins, guys. Let's go. The final match of the day, hopefully. Tiziano. Good luck, man. Three times the Elixir cost. Obviously, this is going to be a really fast cycling game. Dark Prince, what you got for us, man? The Valkyrie, it's going to need to be clutch for us here as well. He's going Ice Wizard, which is actually interesting. So we're going to Graveyard right in front of this. We have a bunch of stuff ready to go. He's going to go Mega Knight. We're going to go ahead and freeze this. Big freeze there. That's going to be huge, guys. We're also going to Fireball. We're going to Fireball that easy. Um, the Mega Knight's going to be solid for him. I'm not going to lie. But hopefully our Executioner can crush. We do a bunch of tower damage there. It's sadly not going to take it. And we're going to have to rocket this, guys. We're going to have to rocket that. That is massive rocket value. Wow. All right, we're going to push up with the Dark Prince and Graveyard. We got to make sure we take his tower a ASAP, pretty much. Just so we can hopefully... Uh Nice, we get a beautiful free spell. We're going to go ahead and fireball. If we take the tower, that's all we need. That is all we need. We do take it. That's big right there, guys. And it looks like we're going to kill off most of his things, so he's not going to have anything left of a counter push here. And we're going to apply some massive pressure on this left lane here, so he really is forced to just defend and hopefully die. Hopefully die, man. The free spell comes out. The Mega Knight's down. That's not going to be too big of an issue, guys. The Magic Archer is also down. we got to make sure we can defend this, obviously. Let's go ahead and rocket this in case he wants to support the Sparky. Sparky's going to go ahead and get taken down. We have an X we have a fireball fireball value is gonna be awesome right here dude absolutely insane fireball value in fact we nato it the execution is gonna be chilling and the bandit will actually probably die to this executioner maybe no bandit does not die but we have a dark prince we have all the answers right now absolutely obliterating tiziano i'm sorry man but let's go ahead and valkyrie you let's go ahead and go with the graveyard i think he's given up and that is going to be the final match here today, guys. That is an awesome get, uh, way to end it. We're going to go ahead and freeze. We're going to go ahead and fireball. We're going to go ahead and NATO and kill absolutely anything he places in there. That is it. This deck crushes. Three crown, three crown, three crown. You love to see it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today's, today's video. If you're going to use this deck, definitely copy it down and leave a like on today's video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Master Diddy-san.